Welcome to this special episode of INC News World. I'm Richie Ferreira. And I'm Michelle Preto, and we're coming to you from Orange County, California. Now, we're just wanting to share with you the highlights of this most anticipated sports events in the Church of Christ, Unity, Unity Games. Games. This week, we simultaneously conducted the regional Unity Games throughout the United States, both in the West Coast and the East Coast. But you know what? Let's get started by bringing you the updates of all of the events that happened here in the West. You know what? It's been so exciting, Richie, to see nine ecclesiastical districts all gathered in one place, from Hawaii Pacific to Mountain States, Oregon, Washington, Northeast and Northwest California. Don't forget SoCal, my hometown, here in Los Angeles County, San Diego County, and Orange County, California. And we're also commemorating the 50th anniversaries of the Kadiba and the Binhi organizations of the Church of Christ. So before anything else, we just want to say happy anniversary to all of the youth members of the Church of Christ. Happy anniversary. Now, I don't know about you, Michelle, but I'm super pumped for the Unity Games. I'm pumped too, Richie. And we got some awesome stories ahead of us featuring athletes and sports enthusiasts and how they were all able to maintain the love of the brotherhood throughout the entire event. Let's go. Let's go. Swimming, archery, the list of sports scheduled is extensive. And here with the young athletes are their biggest cheerleaders, their parents. Now, why don't we head to the volleyball court so that we could meet a mom and a dad who are doing more than just cheering on their daughter. They're finding a way to get more involved. That was the game-winning play for Orange County, California's men's volleyball team. A memorable moment for Mike, their coach, and his wife, Jackie, coaching the women's team here at the U.S. West Coast Regional Unity Games. But before coaching, Mike and Jackie have actually been playing volleyball at sports tournaments in the Church of Christ for as long as they could remember. I mean, I don't think we've missed a tournament from the 90s until now. While first spending time with each other playing volleyball as teenagers, Mike and Jackie would eventually start a family together. Um, I think when we were thinking about starting a family, it was always kind of a dream to have our kids be athletes. Kaylin, 10 years old, competes in American Ninja Warrior. Miko, 7, plays basketball with his dad every week. And Isla, well, she's only four, so she just dances around all the time. But Layla, their eldest, took up a familiar sport, volleyball. Yeah, she loves it, and, and we love it too, right? If she has the passion for it, and we have the passion, then we're all in it together. And it's, uh, it makes it that much more fun for somebody that's played for one year, and she has a long way to go, and it's, it'll be fun. Fast forward to today, a family affair for the Salongas, coaching and playing at the U.S. West Coast Regional Unity Games. Competing today are multiple teams representing nine ecclesiastical districts of the Church of Christ, encompassing 12 states in the West Coast, all gathering here in Orange County, California. The Regional Unity Games is also serving as a way to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Binhi and Kadiwa, the youth organizations in the Church of Christ. As coaches, Mike and Jackie know the special role they play and the responsibility they have to care for the youth in the church. It's a privilege to be able to represent the, the whole district 
as a coach. Right? We have our offices in the church. We look at being coaches as another another office. Right? We have a lot of Kadiwa and Binis and the teams that we can help influence in a positive way. When we talk to them about the different skills in volleyball, we also make sure that we always put in the forefront, this is Unity Games. Winning is one part of it, but Unity Games is part of showing how to be true Christians, how to be united, is something that we, we want to instill into all the players on the team. But as the heat of competition grew, the unique atmosphere of the Unity Games could be felt, whether by athletes, spectators, or even officiating refs. What I saw in today's Unity Games was again, everybody pulling for one goal, it seemed like. And I've done a lot of volleyball, and generally in competition, players get heated. And sometimes that's not in a good way. Today, even though it was competition, I seen everybody cheering everybody on, just everybody pulling for each other, even though it was competition. Competition sometimes brings out the worst in people, and today I saw competition still bring out the best in this group. So unity is key in that, because again, they were uniting instead of dividing. I just love that God was the number one, uh, was center of everything here. So I thought today was a great day overall. And while the women's team might not have won first place, Layla still feels proud of what they were able to accomplish. We've had so many practices and we've had so much time to like bond together and we've really just become like family. Whether in sports or in life, the Unity Games have further inspired parents like Mike and Jackie to do more for the youth. It, it really touches you, right? It's, it, they, they are growing and they're grateful for the stuff that you do for them. It makes you want to do more. You know, we instill in her that it's it's God first and then everything else. And uh, it, I think it helps her faith get a little bit stronger. While the games may have ended, the youth of the Church of Christ will continue to grow stronger, guided by the love of their parents. Richie Ferreira, Iglesia Ni Cristo News Network, Orange County, California. Let's go to the bowling alley so that we can meet an athlete from Moreno Valley who's taken his love for bowling to another level. Jerica Lea Adlawan has that story. Bowling is a recreational sport. It requires strength and flexibility as well as a strong mental state of mind. Richmond, an avid bowler from Moreno Valley, California, has been bowling for 32 years. And his love for bowling is evident, not only in the years he has under his belt on the lanes, but also as the owner of a professional bowling shop in Moreno Valley. Uh, I'm just looking to round out my arsenal right now. Because you need something a little bit, something in the middle, something a little bit benchmarking. So my recommendation would be a phase two. Three eights. So that will put the ring finger. We offer services to our customers that allow them to progress in their game. Um, as well as beginner bowlers, we get them started. That love for bowling didn't just drive his career path. It was also how Richmond found the Church of Christ. I was a convert. The activity that actually brought me here was actually a bowling activity. I was invited to do a bowling activity with the brethren. After their bowling activity, Richmond received another invitation to an occasion within the Church of Christ that captivated his interest. Right after that, I attended an EBM and then I signed up. That marked the beginning of Richmond's understanding of the truth and his decision to serve God and currently holds offices in the church. Me being a Bible student at Montclair, I was actually very interested in becoming a choir member then. As a TSB officer, we make sure the technical aspects of the worship service are up to par as well as functional. And today, Richmond was reminded of what brought him to the Church of Christ in the first place 
as one of the five Kadiwa male bowlers that were chosen to represent their district in the regional unity games. It's actually quite humbling. I was able to see people that I haven't seen for a while, as well as seeing the many different skill levels that uh, the bowlers are, are in throughout the many districts. Kadiwa and Binhi bowlers from California, Nevada, Washington, Utah, and Arizona gathered at Oak Tree Lanes in Diamond Bar, California to compete in the biggest bowling event in the Church of Christ on the West Coast. It's really heartwarming to see the reactions of the different brethren, especially from our visiting brethren from the eight districts, that they are enjoying this event, that they're very thankful and that they're excited to see one another and meet other brethren from different districts. And bowlers like Ace and Jack from the Ecclesiastical District of Washington also look forward to participate in this momentous event. I just love meeting new brethren. It's just awesome to see different districts all come together in unity. And a lot of talent in, in, in California. Ever since we were younger, we've been really uh, competitive, especially with bowling. So it just carried on. So uh, we wanted to represent Washington. As the regional unity games drew to a close, trophies were awarded to winners of both individual and team divisions, and Richmond and his team taking home the runner-up trophy for Team High Series. It, it actually feels great. Um, my team all scored really good for us to get runner-up Team High Series. So with that in mind, it was more of a team effort than it was an individual effort. But even more than that, Richmond was able to give one of his competitors a gift showing his sportsmanship and his love for his fellow brothers and sisters in the Church of Christ. The last couple of Unity games, I decided to give away um, a couple of bowling balls. I gave another bowling ball to a brother from San Diego County. Um, and the reason why was because he was actually the top performer at this year's regional Unity games. It shows that the church administration did not forget about us, uh, especially with uh, events like this. They're able to bring us uh, together um, with sports, activities, you need games. We were able to feel their love and care and uh, understanding that they, they're still looking out for us. Knowing that the church administration cares, um, it's bringing us together, bringing us closer, and threatening our brotherhood. And even more important for each competitor and attendee was the experience that each of them had, being able to bond through the spirit of competition, and especially as brothers and sisters inside of the Church of Christ. From Diamond Bar, California, Jerica Lea Adlawan for the Iglesia Ni Cristo News Network. Catch the continuation of this special coverage of the West Coast Regional Unity Games in Part 2 and Part 3. We'll see you there.